In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit videos using iMovie for Mac. And I hit long intros, so let's get into this tutorial. To get started, all we're going to do is click Create New Project here, and then we're going to click on Movie, and that's going to take us right into the editor. To add your video clips in, all you're going to do is click Import Media, and then you'll want to navigate to wherever you have your videos. All right, I found the Talking Head video I made. If you want to select more clips, you can always hold Command and select more video clips. I just have the one here, so I'm just gonna select that, and I'm gonna click Import Selected, and that's gonna create like a little album here of all our different video clips we wanna, we wanna use. If you ever need to add more video clips or photos or anything like that, you can always go up to File here, and then go to Import Media. That'll allow you to add more stuff, but again, I just filmed one video, so we're just gonna work with that. And then all we have to do is just grab our clips and drag them down here. Uh, you can also rearrange clips too by just grabbing them with your mouse here. You can drag them around, rearrange them, and get them basically in a somewhat order of what you want. And some real quick mentions here before we really get into editing our video. Uh, you'll notice on the right here, this is the preview screen. As we scroll through the timeline, you'll see where we are in the video here. You can also just click play and pause here if you just want to watch your video and kind of preview it before you save it. And then on top here, you'll find different settings. So if you want to uh, adjust the saturation or brightness, uh, if you want to stabilize your video, if you want to crop in, you know, zoom in more on your video, you're going to find all those settings up here, volume, uh, speed. So if you ever need to adjust settings, you're going to find those up there. You can also use this to zoom in more if you want to make a precise edit or to zoom out to see all your video clips. And then if you do make a mistake, you can use the keyboard Command Z and that'll actually reverse any mistake. So if I delete a video accidentally, and it's like, oh shoot, where'd it go? I can click Command Z on my keyboard and that is gonna bring the video clip right back. Now let's get started editing our video. We wanna do that by trimming our video clips up and cutting out the parts we don't want. And there's two different ways you can do that. The first is you can always go to the end of any clip and you'll see how my pointer switches to this symbol. I can literally grab the side of it and trim up to the point where my video starts, but I find this to be a little inaccurate. It's better used for like text effects and things like that. So instead, what I recommend doing is you move the white line known as the playhead up to right where you're about to start talking. And so I'm looking at my preview screen here and I'm also looking at the audio bumps on the bottom because that lets me know I'm about to start talking right there. And then I'm gonna click the command key and the letter B. And if I click those, if I click command first and then click B, it's going to split the video clip in half. So now this video clip begins right here. And then this here is a completely separate clip of me just getting ready to say whatever I want. So what I can do is just delete this few seconds where I'm not talking in the beginning. And now the video starts right here where I start talking. Let's just click play here for a second. In this video, I wanna share with you some tips to help you grow your channel. All right, and then I just clicked pause right when I finished my sentence. And then what I can do is click Command B again, because that's where I finished talking. And then I can scroll ahead to the next spot, because I drink water here, and then I say my next line. And that's right where I'm about to talk. So I can click Command B, and then I can delete this empty silence here in between the two sentences. So I'll click the Delete key, and there we go. Now I've combined two different sentences together, and I can just keep repeating this process over and over. Uh, cutting out the parts I don't want by using Command B and, you know, basically splitting them out and click delete. And there you go. Now you have edited your video together and combined multiple clips. If you want to add music to your videos, all you have to do is scroll up here next to My Media. You'll see Audio and Visual. You can click on that. And in here, you'll find some files for sound effects, as well as for theme music. And Apple does have a few songs built in here, but they're only like a minute long, so not really some great use cases here. What I personally use for my music is Epidemic Sound, which is a music subscription site, gives you access to thousands and thousands of songs that are safe to use anywhere online. If you do wanna check that out, uh, I do have a free trial affiliate link in the description. You can test that out and see if that's right for you. And I actually have some of that music downloaded, so I'm gonna go back to my media here and I'm gonna import uh, that song. And here's the song I got from Epidemic Sound. All I gotta do is just drag and drop this in right underneath my video clips. And you can see I've got the audio there. And I can actually, hovering over it, you'll see that my, my cursor changes. That allows me to turn the volume down. So I definitely want that to be something low, like 20%, just so it's background music there. But there we go, we've added some music in. If you wanna add text to your video, all you gotta do is go over to Titles right here, and you're gonna find all your different titles here. 
I could do something like a, a standard lower third and I just drag and drop that wherever I want that to appear in my video. I just let go. So I could make this maybe like tip number one. And then we'll erase this bottom part here just so we have tip one. Cool. And then I have all my text settings up here to change the, the font, things like that. Now, once your video is complete, all you have to do is go up here to the export button and then you're going to click export file. And then here you'll be able to change the, the resolution, whatever you want that for be, uh, whether you want it the, the highest quality or just, you know, generally high quality as well as the compression, whether you want it to be the better quality or you just want it to export faster. And then you can click the next button, save that video to your files, which you then can upload to YouTube or anywhere else. And a real quick side note here, if you are trying to learn video editing, so that way you can grow a YouTube channel, I wanna let you know that I have a YouTube starter kit with free thumbnail templates, guides, training videos, etc. If you're interested in that, I'll have a link to it in the description, just a way I can send you some free value to help you grow on YouTube. So check that out.